Okay guys, so now we're gonna move on to the transmission service. Oh, there it goes. We've got our transmission fluid coming out. All you gotta do is open up the drain plug. Then you gotta get a little pick into there and remove this little green thing, uh, this little pipe that sits inside the transmission pan and just pop it out and then your fluid will come out much faster. And after you have no mass. It's definitely not supposed to be this really green color. It's supposed to be blue. So our transmission fluid is definitely very tired and definitely needs to be replaced. So here's the parts that you're gonna need. You gotta grab your filter, your gasket, your six aluminum bolts, your green fill pipe, your two magnets, and your transmission fluid. Make sure you're using 236.15 if you have the friction reduced transmission you probably need about five or six liters maybe more depending on how much seven liters seven liters depending on how much you need to fill so it's quite simple underneath the car once you get all the covers off as I said remove the remove the oil and then get ready to remove your aluminum bolts yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's crack them open. So the reason why you gotta replace the bolts is because they're aluminum ones and they are stretch bolts. If you try to reuse them, eventually they will stretch and your transmission fluid pan will start slowly leaking. So we're just about to get the last bolt out and then we're gonna drop the pan and all the fluid is gonna come out. Well, pretty much all the fluid is already out. There's the last bolt, and here comes the pan. Now, we are very hopeful that there's going to be not a lot of metal on the magnets, but you never know. All right. Let's see. Well, the pan looks Bro. pretty clean. Why is it bold? Okay guys, we got our transmission pan nice and clean. Got our two magnets installed. Got our gasket in there. Got our overfill pipe in there. So now we're gonna bolt this all up, fill it with fluid, and we'll show you guys the correct procedure for the temperature and filling capacity and procedure. Okay guys, so we got the pan back on it's all nice and clean well other than the scrapes underneath from the transmission sitting on the floor from all the times that has been serviced this transmission has been out of this car three times believe it or not so now we are gonna go to the filling procedure which we are gonna show you guys how to do okay guys so we got our transmission fluid in our special pump we put five and a half liters in there for now and we got our contraption going up into the transmission fill port right there. So we're gonna fill it all the way with fluid and we're gonna jump in the car. We're gonna start the car and we will show you guys how to do the transmission fluid level check. Okay, you guys, so then you gotta get the oil temperature up to 40 degrees, but we are already at 60. In order to warm up the transmission quickly, just shift it into reverse and then neutral and then drive. Make sure you're in manual mode so that the car can warm up the clutch really quickly and so that you can have the correct level and oil temperature of the transmission. All right, we're gonna finish this procedure, then we'll get underneath the car, make sure that the fluid level is good We'll show you guys how to do that next. Okay, we got all the lower covers off. So that's all the fluid changes done on the C63 AMG.